it's early in the morning here in Florida. I'm just really thankful with what God have provided me. And I have to basically cut the entire head of lettuce here because this will not produce anymore. <sighs> so many leaves. Oh, there's one here. I mean, there is a price to pay for organic. <laughs> you know, all this, all its plants. I mean, they are better. Some, but some of them have character. I mean, this tiny head that I have here. It's more than enough to give me a nice salad. This I will put it back in the in the soil um, to let it decompose. Will break down. The other nice word to say it. And then I like to feed the soil that way. Like last night, I wanted to go to sleep. I really wanted to go to sleep. But I couldn't. So it was mid midnight time, and uh, the Malabar spinach that you see here is gone, most of it. And I decided to cut the leaves and set it in the soil. Um, you know what, I should use that plant as a soil feeder since I don't have the resources to get um, fertilizers. So if you see down here, I don't know if you see, you see here? This is breakdown um, kale that, from the video that I, um, I took out. And these are from yesterday. Malabar spinach leaves. Wait a few weeks, they will dry it up and break down and become soil. And it will seep down through the pool and feed my plants. Cut this other one. The beautiful thing about this uh, kind of almost permaculture is like you, it's so easy to take out these plants. Like it's almost like a no dig situation. The soil is really alive. And this is a peaceful thing to do. Look, I quit gaming entirely, I will say. And I spend most of my time, you know, when I'm quote unquote bored in the garden. Preparing my food. Now this one, put it back in here in the hole. Right in there. That will become soil later. So far, almost full. I personally love um, loose leaf over head because they contain more nutrients. Then head lettuce like iceberg um, and other heads. It's good to have a variety, but you know those those big heads that you buy and you cut them to make sandwiches and salad. Um, it's like just chewing up on water. By the way, on the video that I recorded on the 16, today is the 21st. Look how. I have kale grown back to be cut again. For those who love kale, do this. There is another lettuce right here.
this is gonna be not for one serving honestly obviously a few leaves you chopping all uh, up together and you all good to go you don't need so much but that is a lot to be honest way too much lettuce you know I should put this in YouTube <sighs> again because this like I said this is a tiny pool there's two kitty pools and this is the smallest one I have more bigger ones but how much can you eat off one tiny pool and then as you eat you know you, you're having a good good experience like basically you are um, cutting whatever you need you know and you think all these little microbes that are helping you build this food and give it back to the soil you know so it could be fertile in an organic way I mean I put this um, Swiss chart like around maybe 30, 30 days, I think, after I transplanted. it. And look how big it is. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. You know what? Let me finish with this lettuce right here. Not this one. Obviously, this has to be washed when I, when, when I get to the kitchen. This is this is organic, okay? <laughs> um, you won't see this in a supermarket <laughs> to be this dirty. So here goes the beautiful, beautiful chard. I'm gonna. Cut these, cut this, how huge it is, so I can promote the growth of this plant. There are new leaves that they need to emerge. And there is another one right here, you see it? I mean, it, it, it's just, it's so beautiful. And this is just a regular color one. I have the rainbow Swiss chart. Um, it have different colors, but so far I see a red and a green. But, ah, I don't know what to say. It's, it, it is a, it's an amazing experience. It's, it's a stress relieving, soothing experience when you're gardening and growing your own greens. And you don't have to have a lot of money. Look, honestly. These tools I got in front of the dollar store, I know they don't work as efficient as um, the expensive one because I don't have enough money for this, you know. We, I'm in the COVID-19 um, time and it is kind of tough. Money is really tight. You see all that that I cut it? I could throw that in a compost bin, but I'd rather just leave it here. I have a few worms in the pool. And if they find it, they will eat it. What about these? Swiss chart, huh? I'm gonna take them. No, 
nice. So this is all I got. Add this little uh, harvest and one plant over there. If you have more pools, you could get more. I mean, I could have even more lettuce in there um, to grow and harvest. But it's an amazing experience. All the food that I just collected. You should do. You should do this. I, like I said, I'm really new into this, and I used to depend buying my own spinach, buying my own lettuce, buying my own kale from big store markets, and I don't have to do this anymore. So. Appreciate you guys saw this video. Comment. If you'd like to subscribe, you could do so. That would be helpful. And just look at the notification bell on the bottom. If you click it, you will see me. Have a great day.